guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming for the week of June 7th to June 13th and do you guys notice something? I finally got my desk uh, put together. I got the Ikea Alex desk system. I feel like it's the most popular and literally my husband just like put it together for me so I am very excited about it. Let me know um, how the angle looks. Um, I had to like redo like my tripod and how it gets hooked up and stuff. So I wanna make sure it is like completely flat and if it looks a little bit like, you know what I mean? Like tilted, like I don't want it to look tilted at all. I want it to look nice and flat. So let me know how it looks, let me know how the lighting looks. Um, and yeah, just, just let me know all the all the stuff um, and hopefully it looks good it looks brighter um, but yeah so um, anyways this is the kit that I am using for this week it is art by Darcy this was art that she released last year um, and I think she released it like around fall time and I was always like dang like I'm not gonna like use this kit at all and I was like I'll try to remember to use it for next year 2021 um, and I totally forgot until I saw people using this for March and I was like, oh my God, I have to use this art because I love it. So I figured because of the greens, I would use it in June. So here we are. Um, but this is a kit from Beautiful Planning. It is a printable kit. I do have a coupon code for her shop. It is Brittany15. That'll save you 15% off. Um, and then this is like the other page here. I do the crop method. So if you do order anything from Stephanie, who is a shop owner of Beautiful Planning, it will not look like this. You get a ton of pages, probably like six, five, probably like five to six, seven pages. So you get a ton of stuff. Um, I already have stickers pulled as well. So hopefully this will be like somewhat of a smooth plan with me. I don't know. I feel like whenever I like really plan things out, doesn't always happen that way for me. So I guess to be determined. Um, but yeah, so we'll just go ahead and get right into it. Like my desk is all new and like, like I said, obviously like my husband just put it together for me yesterday. So even putting my post-it notes on my desk, I'm a little like nervous about it because I'm like, ooh, I hope the sticky residue, like it doesn't leave a sticky residue. I don't know. Um, but yeah, my office looks like an explosion, like a bomb went off on it, and it's driving me slightly mad. I wanted to organize it today. I'm filming this today. It is currently Sunday, the 6th. Um, and so my husband, like, because if you don't know what the Alex drawers look like, it's like the ones that have like a ton of drawers um, on the side. I feel like a lot of planner people have this desk because um, I know a bunch that do have it and seem to like it. This was the desk I was originally planning on getting, but when we had first moved to Texas and in our apartment, my desk had to be out in the living room and all of our furniture was like grays and browns and I just thought like a stark white desk would look odd and stick out too much. So that's why I went with a brown desk. Slightly regretting that, I should have just got it because I knew we weren't gonna live in that apartment forever, but it happens, it is what it is. I got my desk now. But funny story, so my husband built like the two side pieces, cause like it's a bunch of drawers. And I've had this desk, you guys, since December. We literally went the day after Christmas, we bought the tabletop, which, <laughs> Remind me to tell you about the tabletop. <laughs> I got a whole desk story. It actually might take me the whole base to tell you guys about this damn desk. Um, but anyways, uh, so I bought the like Alex drawer, the one side, and then the tabletop the day after Christmas. We went to Ikea. You know, gotta get those tax write-offs. <laughs> so um, I, I did that. And then I really wanted the other like Alex drawer that has the filing system. Um, like so one side that has like the filing cabinet. And of course they were out of stock. So I stocked Ikea's website literally several times a week and it never came in stock. I couldn't even order it online to have it shipped to me. And I was getting like so frustrated because I kept checking and checking and checking. And then finally, I was able to check and they had it in stock. This was back in March, so I waited three months and I couldn't obviously put my desk together without the other piece because it's kind of like the leg for it. Um, I guess I'll just do the, the ruler method again. Um, so yeah, so I couldn't, you know, wait, hold on, sorry, one second. What do I wanna do over here? 
Oh, also too, if you hear a lot of noise, um, kind of like a fan, I should probably unplug it. It is my Scentsy, like, um, fan diffuser. I don't like that they call it a diffuser, to be honest, because when people hear, did I do it? Yeah, it, it's this little guy here. It just plugs in to like a USB. Um, so this is a fan diffuser and it has like a fan um, inside here. And so when you plug in the USB, these are pods, Scentsy pods. I don't know if you guys care about this, but in case anyone was curious. Um, so yeah, these are pods. So you just put this on top and then just plug this into the USB. I have it plugged into my computer and it releases the scent. And so I was using the scent Pink Cotton. Um, but yeah, so they also make other like fan diffusers. Um, so if you don't want to use wax, you can use this instead. They're, scent they're scented beads. So anyways, um, I don't even know why I was talking about that. Oh, because the fan was really loud. Oh, I don't like that it's called a fan diffuser because I feel like people think it's like a diffuser like with oils, you know? So I kind of wish they would have picked a, a different name for that, but I don't know. That's just, maybe it's just me. Um, so anyways, back to my desk. So yeah. Um, wasn't able to get it put together or anything like that um, until after March when I got the last piece of it or like essentially it is the leg um, and we've just been honestly just been busy like we've been just putting other things ahead of getting my desk built um, so anyways finally you know we just got back into town on Wednesday we were in California and I met my baby nephew um, and so my husband had a couple of days off before he needed to go back to work. So he was like, I really want to build your desk for you. So I was like, okay, cool. So he started building it, um, yesterday, Saturday. And, um, he got it all built, like both of the, like the drawers and stuff. And then he put the tabletop on and he was like, wait, this does not seem right. And I was like, oh yeah. Cause it hung over by like, I don't know, like inches, you know what I'm saying? Like measurements. You know, if you ask me how much is an inch, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I like probably shouldn't put myself on blast like that, but I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> Whenever I say that, I always think of Clueless. Did you guys ever watch Clueless? And when he was like, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. You know, when Dion gets pissed at Murray for shaving his head bald, I don't know, in the bathroom at the house party. Maybe y'all know, hopefully. Um, so this is green. Um so anyways, yeah, the tabletop was too like long as far as like the depth goes. And so I was like, oh my God, this is so annoying. Plus also too, we already took everything out of my old desk and we already moved my desk into the guest bedroom just to like put it over there for now. And I was like, no way. And so, and also yesterday too, it was Alondra's dance pictures. So we had to like leave to go, well, she had dance practice, then she had dance pictures. And so we had to leave to go um, and do dance pictures. So my husband, because he's amazed balls, I didn't even ask him. So I was honestly shocked when he even offered this. I was like, who are you? Um, so I don't know, did you, guys, did you guys hear like the Alice in Wonderland caterpillar voice at all? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I, he doesn't even exactly say that. I, I felt like I sounded like him just now. Sorry, guys. I'm easily distracted. The sun fried my brain today at the pool. Um. But anyway, so he was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Ikea while you get her ready for um, her dance pictures. And I will just meet you there um, at the studio. And I am going to go and get the right tabletop. And he, he checked Ikea's website too, just to make sure it was in stock before he drove all the way over there because it is a bit of a drive. And I was like, no, don't even worry about it. Like, you know, I don't want you to do that. And he was like, no, you need a desk. Like it's already built and stuff. So I don't want you to not have a desk. He's just amazeballs. Um, and so I was like, well, okay. Like twist my arm. This is yellow, green. Wait, did I do this wrong? Purple, pink, yellow green if this is yellow what's after yellow pink oh my lanta Brittany. i don't know why doing glitter headers is so difficult for me like my brain just can't can never figure it out and i've been doing this for this is my sixth planner 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is my sixth Erin Condren planner. So you would think I would like have it figured out by now, but I don't. Um, so anyway, so yeah, he drove all the way to Ikea to get me a new tabletop. Um, we still need to return the other one. We didn't do that just because he would really need to package it up um, and just, you know, get it all in order. And we didn't have time for that. So um, he actually packaged it up for me this morning because it's pretty light, the tabletop. So I am going to go to Ikea this week to return it. Thankfully, I still have the receipt um, because I did use it for, you know, I need a desk for work and stuff, so I still have the receipt. So anyways, though, um, all is good with the, the, the tabletop. And I mean, I can't say if I, if I love the desk yet, so I'm curious if you guys love your Alex, you know, desk system, let me know. Um, I did notice with the filing cabinet, though, like and when you put, you know, you file things horizontally, it doesn't fit. It's like just a smidge like the drawer too narrow just a smidge so i would have to either put everything in a diagonal or i would have to put everything in vertically i noticed that today and i was like you've got to be shitting me so kind of weird and annoying but also i don't know you know maybe it's like that because it goes by um god what country is ikea is ikea switzerland but you know things are different you know and all over. I feel like the US is the only one that does things like differently. You know what I mean? So anyways though, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to work on organizing this desk in my office uh, this week. So I was gonna do it today, but oh, I was totally out of frame there. Sorry. Um, I was gonna try to do it today, but our neighbor friend was like, hey, we're going to the pool and Alondra has been begging me to go to the pool. So I was like, you know what? Let's go to the pool. So that's what we did instead. Um, but yeah, so again, let me know how the setup looks and everything like that. I also really wanna get like tabletop lamps, um, like lighting, like right now I just have box lights and I'm not the biggest fan. So um, if you guys know ones that maybe like go on the table and that way I could easily put them down, like put them away as well. You know, I don't have to constantly have them out and take up all the space in my office like mine do now. I would love that information. So if you know of any, let me know. Um, and I know I could easily check Amazon and trust me, I have, but I always get like nervous about like quality, what's good quality, what's not, yada, yada. So if you have any that you recommend, please let me know because I would greatly appreciate it. And I don't want to mount anything to my wall. Like put it, put it on the wall and then like have it like folding down. I really don't want to do that. So um, yeah, I am accepting recommendations, <laughs> but I'm excited to be like on the desk. The only thing with the Alex desk, so if you have the Alex desk, let me know, is the tabletop, it moves a lot. It does have little like rubbery things. However, I feel like it still kind of like moves. Like if I just like bump the desk, like I bumped it with my knee, it went off alignment and it was like driving me nuts and I have to have things aligned. <laughs> That's not a shocker for anybody, I'm sure. So I've had my husband like adjust this like probably four times today because it was driving me nuts that like every time I bumped it, like the desk was going out of, out of line, like not, I don't know, it was moving the tabletop. So I was asking my husband, I'm like, is there any way you can screw it in? Like, you know, to like from the bottom maybe and screw up, but like not a super long screw. So that way it doesn't like go through the desk. So um, he was telling me that he could probably do that or he's gonna look into maybe, oh, I heard that, that was my dryer, I'm doing laundry. Um, could probably try to do some brackets as well. So I am doing the right week, right? Okay, yeah, June 7th. I just got really nervous for a second. Um, I haven't planned in a hot minute. So if you guys have mounted your desk, like the tabletop, let me know how you did it. Maybe Ikea even sells something. Um, Cause yeah, the moving around is driving me slightly nuts, but 
I mean, I like the look of it and I'm excited to finally have a white desk. I've only been talking about it for, I feel like a hot minute. And then I did order, did I have this? No, it's not off cut. It looks short, like it didn't go, it's like slightly off. Um, I did also order a, uh, a thing for my monitor, like a clear acrylic stand off of Amazon. So that way, that way, like that can be raised up. Um, and then I can put my keyboard like underneath because with my old desk, it would have like the slide out keyboard. So I am missing that. But once I get that like stand, I think it'll be really cute. Um, and I even like brought out a little fake plant <laughs> from Ikea to like set it on my, uh, on my desk. So I don't know. I'm excited though to finally organize and, and decorate. And I have so many drawers. So I don't know. I'm so sorry if this is really boring because that's all I'm talking about is my damn desk. But I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> so I hope you guys don't mind too much. Um, so I'm actually going to work from the bottom up. I have decided in my sidebar um, because I feel like a couple of times it has not, like I, whenever I put the tall box at the top, I put it, I like I'm not measuring, I don't know, I guess the distance correctly. So I want to do it this way just to see. Um, so I guess we're going to see here. What's next? Oh no, not purple. Okay, I'll just do the green. Um, yeah, and I think this might be better. Maybe, possibly. Going bottom up, maybe keeping things straight too. So for the three heart checklist, that is the top three things that are happening for the next week. So just to like get my mind prepared um, I just like to do that, so I kind of like have an idea of what is going on. Uh, I will do... Oh, I kind of don't like that that is going to be all right there. I'll do green. That like almost lines up perfectly. Also, too, with the dimensions, I'm not sure how they're going to be because um, the tall box for the girl is a little bit shorter. This kid is older too. I, uh, this is like her old version. I don't know how old, cause Stephanie I think has reformatted once or twice since this version of the kit. Um, so if I don't sound like I don't know exactly, it's because it is older, but. And I really am so bummed that I didn't use this art in March, like I, I didn't, cross my mind to use it because it would have been perfect to use in March. Okay, I feel like I'm having a little panic here because I feel like this is not gonna work. Is it? Oh, no, 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 it is. Whew, I don't know why, it just seemed really low to me. And so I'm like, I literally just felt like my stomach dropped to my ass and I was like, oh, Shiza, this is not gonna work. But, and it is still going straight. So that is a plus. All right, and let's see how this, I, Getting all nervous hands now. <gasps> yes, Gaga. Oh my God. I am beyond tickled right now. Like I am so freaking happy. That is perfect perfection. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Beautiful. Um, so for the sidebar, for all of June, I was going to do um, reading as my habit tracker, but I decided to change it this week to make it for practice for dance. Um, however, Sunday, technically, she doesn't have dance because this week, I didn't say it, is Alondra's dance recital week. Her, oh my God, I was supposed to put an extender on Saturday. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And you know, I don't have anything near me. I need to get my white out and I need to get the extender. So, ooh, that peeled up nice, okay. 
Thank you, thank you, sticker gods. All right, hold on one second. Let me go get my white out and let me go get my extender. Okay, I am back. I have the extenders. This is the first one that I found, which are the ones that open horizontally. So like a book um, at the top, it doesn't matter to me. It can open horizontally or vertically. Um, so let me go ahead. And did I fold it the right way? Yeah, because it's going to open that way. So on Saturday, it is going to be a busy day. So um, like I said, it's her recital. And she has, she's actually in two different recitals. So her studio has four different recital times. Actually, technically, no, four different. So there's like three different recital times. And obviously not all of the dances are the same. So they do it so that way it's not like super long and to like break it up. So I guess you're not there for, I don't know, three, four hours. Um, so anyways, that's what they do. But then a, they have a special like production performance, which is Aladdin. Um, and so they had like tryouts for this like special production team or whatever um, for Aladdin. And Alondra wanted to try out because she saw the costume and about died. It is really cute though. Um, so um, yeah, so she's in that. So She's got her first recital at 10 a.m. And then she's got the second at three. Yeah, three. Oh, joy. And then <laughs> she also has rehearsal this day. Rehearsal for the Aladdin performance at 8 a.m. That is right. I'm not happy about it. So she has rehearsal at 8 a.m. And then she has to be dropped off by 9.15 for her um, first recital at 10 a.m. So that means I have to wake up at like 5.36 to do full hair, full makeup, to get her to her rehearsal. I mean, thankfully the rehearsal's in the same place. I mean, that would be kind of silly if it wasn't, you know? Um, but yeah, to get her to her rehearsal and then you know, I'm looking at this and I feel like this screams hollow, but I pulled out silver because like right here is silver and I'm also kicking myself because I have like really cool silver overlays um, that are uh, like astrology and like I realized her shirt has all of that in her shirt and it never even crossed my mind to do that. Um, I also think I have some like alien SPC that's hollow. I don't know, I'm, I might change my mind. I, I'm starting to doubt myself. So the changing of the mind might happen here. Um, but anyways, okay, this is the base. I'm obsessed. Oh yeah, so for my habit tracker, I'm gonna make it for practice because I do want her to practice both dances, um, you know, every single day this week because that's like huge. I don't want her to get up there and just completely freeze and be like, uh, I don't know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want her to, you know, know what she's doing. Um, so I do have these stickers pulled um, since, I mean, the whole production of her recital is not Aladdin, but one of the recitals is, like the dances is Aladdin. So I'm just gonna use these ones. Um, for re and I just made a script that says recital week. Where's my tweezers? I like redid everything. So, um, and I think I'm gonna use the Coffee Monsters Co. Because I only have one once more with love jasmine, and I have two jasmines here. I wish she would have done the jasmine in red. However, it wouldn't match the spread. So, but the one in red, like, is it weird to say a cartoon is sexy? But she's sexy, y'all. When she's in her red, when Jafar makes her, you know. I don't know, super duper cute. Um, don't judge me for saying that now. But anyways, so I'm gonna put here recital week. Oh, that really cut off, I can tell. What else? Um, oops, come here, Jasmine. I love the look of the Coffee Monsters Co. ones. I feel like they're so cute. I mean, the Once More With Love ones are cute too. And these stickers, like the Disney ones, really come in clutch because like I don't have any fish stickers and I was able to use two flounders, um, a flounder here and a flounder here 
for last week and it's like when else would I use a flounder and I used them for like uh, signifying our fish because we got new fish for my daughter um, so anyways, there is that. I am gonna use, actually I'm not gonna use Coffee Monsters Co anymore, so I'm gonna move that to the side here. Um, but okay, yes. Let me just get organized here. Uh, there's like a smudge here. And I'll just make a script, um, just a tiny little one, that says practice. And I will put it in for the practice. And then this here is for my husband's work schedule. Um, and okay, so I do want to put in, I only have two bill dues. Oh, so I can wait. I only have two. So no biggie. Okay. Let's zoom in and go day by day. And if the angles get messed up or anything, I'm sorry. I'm trying guys. I promise. Um, okay. So on a Monday, I actually have a lot to mark. So first things first is this video. I am uploading it this day. That reminds me, I should probably text my sister today. Actually, I should probably call her. Um, I just don't want to bother her, but um, I do want to reach out to her. And I don't even know what time she's leaving. Um, yeah, I'll put this on the bottom. I'm going to put my sister at the top. So... Um, this is a upload. This is also from Beautiful Planning. So this is going to be for this video here. Because my Monday plan with me's go up. And I don't mark when I upload vlogs. I only up mark when I upload non-vlogs. Um, so I don't know if anybody was curious about that. Um, so that and then, oh, I also have a dentist appointment. Yes, at 10 a.m. Okay, let me mark that at the top then because I wanted that to go in a box. So I have purple here. So let me go ahead and put this in. A lot of boxes. So I don't even know. I'll probably have to edit once I get home. Or maybe I'll try to edit. Well, it depends how long Alondra is sleeping. She is currently napping. I don't know if I said that or not, but she is knocked out. Uh, it's 6.57, so hopefully she doesn't stay asleep for too, too long, but um, okay, so there is my little tooth. That is from a printable sticker shop, Sticky Acorn. They're, excuse me as I burp up my spaghetti. They are no longer a shop, unfortunately, um, but just in case anybody was wondering. So I have a cleaning at 10 a.m., I have my upload. It's also my aunt's birthday. And my sister's in the Air Force. And she is, she's not deploying, but she is going to Korea for a year. Um, and moving there. So, um, yeah, kind of sad. I'm not going to see her for a year or maybe longer. Um, but anyway, so I do want to mark my aunt's birthday. That's just a little thing from the kit. And then for my sister going to Korea, I'm going to use, I do not know. Should I use like a bigger box? I guess I could. I have four of them, so like why not? All right, I'll use a green one here. So these are the 0.711 boxes that I just love oh so much. So I will just put that in here. Wow, it's kind of a busy day. And then I have these stickers here from Once More With Love. Um, my friend Sarah, Sarah K. Plans, she actually sent these to me, which I thought was very sweet of her to do that. Um, and so I'm going to just put it in here, Scarlet Korea. However, I do like her facing this way. Yeah, I'm gonna have her facing this way, actually. All right, so that is everything then for Monday. Kind of a busier day. This week is actually gonna be pretty busy, so <laughs> yay. Um, so moving on then, oh, my planner is stuck. Um, moving on to Tuesday, I have nothing actually. So Wednesday, my husband has a dentist appointment on this day. So I will 
mark this the same way I marked mine. And I have, okay, came off. So mine's at 10 a.m. and his is at 9 a.m., which that reminds me, I need to do the paperwork. I'll probably do that right after this. Um, I have to do like a updated profile or I don't know, something. They sent me something, so. Why am I not getting this down crooked? Or, I mean straight. It's going down crooked. Is that better? No, I feel like it still looks a little crooked. Okay, same little tooth. Let me see if I do it this way. Okay, there we go. Um, what else? Oh, Alondra has swim lessons, and then it is my nephew's birthday. And like I said, we just saw him last week. And so that was really nice. We were in California for one week, exactly seven days. Came in Wednesday, left Wednesday. So that was nice to be able to see the family. Um, especially so soon, because we didn't know when we were going to get to see them again. So it was nice to be able to see them so quickly. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and use... I always have this issue whenever I'm trying to pick out stickers and I, I always feel like I don't print the right ones. I don't know if that makes sense. Actually, I really wanna use this one. Okay, and so she has swim at what time? 5.30. And I'm so annoyed too. I Like if you call the swim lessons to cancel, like before your lesson, um, then it'll stay on file and you will get a makeup, right? Um, so you'll be able to like call them and book another day and time um, to go, you know, to re basically reschedule. And I forgot to call because I just completely forgot we were traveling, you know? And so because I didn't call, we don't get to do a makeup. So it's just a bummer. Um, okay, so two, three, so I'm gonna put this here. This is from Once More With Love, and I only have the yellow ones left. So I'm super excited to be able to, to use it, because it matches. And then the swim script is just a script that I made. And I only have one left, so I need to print some more. Um, okay, so that is everything then for Wednesday. So I will switch to the other half, but it looks like my battery is dying. So let me go ahead and change that out. I am back. So on Thursday, Alondra and I have a haircut appointment. So we are both getting our hair cut with this girl. Um, with this girl. <laughs> Very, yeah. Um, she actually, her daughter is in Girl Scouts with Alondra. So I was like, Hey, can you cut my hair? <laughs> so she was like, of course. So perfect. Um, I just want to see here. What color are the tap shoes? Yellow. Okay. So, uh, that is yellow. I'm trying to figure out like what boxes I want to do, but I do want to use, okay. I'll do the yellow one actually for the haircuts. Oh no, that's yellow. Hi. Okay, so I don't want to do yellow for combo. Purple. Okay, so I'll do purple since that box will be pink or green. All right, I think I'm finally with it here. So anyways, um, for Alondra, I'm just going to cut a couple of inches off. I figured I would wait until like right before school, um, like first grade, <laughs> which I did register Alondra last week for first grade. Um to take her to Sweet and Sassy. It's a really cute hair salon. It's actually where she had her fifth birthday party. Um, and they put like pixie dust in your hair and they style your hair all cute. Alondra absolutely loved it. That's where she got her very first haircut for pre-K. We didn't do one for kinder, but then again, she did virtual. So um, why does this keep looking crooked? It's trying to drive me mad, I think. Um, so anyways, I just want to do a couple of inches because her hair is getting hella long. But not only that, like she's got like straight up Rapunzel hair. Um, 
it's getting so knotty. And I've been told by several people that when the hair is super knotty, um, it's because you need a haircut. And I'm just like, yeah, it is time. I was trying to like hold off and not have to do it. Um, oh, I think I'm gonna use the haircut one because it shows the haircut. Um, or I could use the one that just says hair appointment, but I really like this one. I think it's cute. I love the emojis with hair. Like anybody else, they are so adorable. So this is from the Coffee Monsters Co. The sheet is so cute. I should give this blonde one. Oh, Bailey, you don't dye your hair though. I don't know, anyways. So, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get her a trim. I'm not gonna be able to hold off and wait because it's just awful. Plus, I think it'll be good for Saturday. Um, it'll be easier to do her hair for recital and she just needs it. So just a little trim and then right before school, probably like the week of, I will take her to like the fancy place. I mean, who knows? If I really love how this girl does like my hair, then I, I might just take Alondra back. Um, but Alondra really wants to go to the other place. So I don't know. We'll see, to be determined. Um, so... Like I said, Alondra does have combo. Oh, and then for my hair, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna take several inches off, maybe six inches off, and I really want to layer it and like maybe do like layers in the face. A part of me thought about getting bangs, but it's summer, I'm in Texas, it's hot as hell in Texas, so I feel like probably not the best idea, but I don't know. A part of me is like, ooh, that could be fun. So I'm still undecided on that. IDK my BFF gel. Um, okay, but moving on then for combo, I'm gonna use this pink one here. Um, so this is actually her rehearsal. So it's weird, she's got two different rehearsal days. So this one, she does the rehearsal in the studio. So she has to be in full hair and makeup um, and in her costume at the actual dance studio and they will like rehearse and practice the oh shit i didn't count two three oh no this is right phew okay um and then you know they will just do the dance over and over and over again um and that'll be like well it's not the last one because she actually still has dance after this class like the rest of june oh i don't have a combo script <gasps> that's probably actually good because then i can make a script that says rehearsal Ooh, I like that. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a script that says rehearsal. So no script there, but that is okay. Um, and then the last thing that I have is that I have a bill this day. Um, so yay for me. But anyway, so yeah, that is that the rehearsal night and then she'll have the other one, you know, on Saturday. But okay, that's everything for Thursday. So moving on to Friday the 11th. The only thing I have to mark is that my mom is coming to town. She is getting in at like 7.40, so by the time we get home, it'll probably be like, by the time we get her, it'll probably be like eight. By the time we get home, yeah, I honestly don't think anything is gonna happen like by the time I get my mom. So I think I'm just gonna put it at the bottom. If something does happen though, I can just simply undo it and move it to the top. I mean, I did it here with this box here. I originally had this at the bottom and I just undoed this, undoed this, undid it. Well, it's called undo is the product. And I moved it up here. Um, so anyways, yeah. And I had done this plan with me before I went out of town. So I did it like, I don't know, back in May. Like when did I do this? May 20 something. So anyways, undo is amazing. I love it so much. Sometimes it's an ass and doesn't do like exactly what you want, but for the most part, it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use a squared box because I love squared boxes and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use, but I'm gonna use the couple, like the grandparent couple because my mom is actually coming with her husband. So, um, and he uses a cane, so it actually works out kind of perfect. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to do that and I'm just going to put, you know, that they're in town. I'm going to try to push it to the bottom without fully touching. So that way um, I can probably fit in two things. And I'm going to use the green one because, you know, green, it's perfect. Um, and yeah, so these are for once more with love. I saw too that um, 
I almost said Helen. It is not Helen. It is Marge. She is going to have a... Sorry, my phone is blowing up right now. So that's why I keep pausing. Because I keep looking to be like, what's going on, y'all? Um, But she's going to have like a belated birthday sale. And I'm just like, what are you doing to me? Because, oof. I've been actually really wanting to buy more Coffee Monsters Co. And Once More With Love stickers. I have like a growing wish list to buy list. So I'm just like, oh God, why? Uh... <sighs> so I don't know if I'm going to partake. If you're going to partake, let me know. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like all of our like extra spending money as of late has been going to our damn fish tank. And that is hella crooked. I feel like you guys probably can't tell, but I can. And it drives me nuts. It's funny because like, oh my God, that's like really sticking to the paper. Um, with our castle in our fish tank. Um, we've had to move it a couple of times to like find one of our fish. Um, and then of course we keep adding more shit to our fish tank, like a bubbler and oh my God, you guys, like we're going, I don't want to say all out because I'm sure there's more extravagant, our fish tank's not extravagant, but we said we wanted like the bare minimum basic like bones and like, no, we keep adding more shit to it. Like we just added a bubbler, a blue LED light, like all of this shit. Um, but anyway, so we have a castle in there and I keep telling my husband like, no, you need to like move it more this way. Or you need to like move it back. It's like uneven that level. And he was like, how can you even tell? And I'm like, how can you not? I ran out of memory on my memory card. So sorry about that on getting cut off there. But moving on to Saturday, like I said, there's kind of a lot going on. So Alondra has her rehearsal at 8 a.m. Um... God, this day, I'm like heavily debating how I want to do it. Mm, because if I can put like both of her, oh, hi, hello, like both of her pictures in here for from the recital, I want to do that just to like remember, you know, recital day. But also, I don't know. I just, I mean, I could and just put like the rehearsal and then the recital and the recital, but I don't really know what's going to go on like after that like i'm sure we're gonna go out to dinner but it sucks like like i said the first one's at 10 a.m and then the second one's at three so i don't know and i'm kind of like should i mark it i can put one here like for 10 and then i feel like i have a cough coming on excuse me um i probably could put like the 10 and then the three because honestly i'm sure we'll go back home just chill and relax because that's like a huge gap um, so like 10 and 3 and then whatever else down here. Ugh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to mark anything. But you guys will know she has rehearsal and recital this day. I just want to wait um, to see what happens this day. Because like I said, my mom and her husband are coming to town. So um, who knows what really will happen. So anyways, I know we're going to be waking up early as hell on this day though. <laughs> I'm not excited about that. Um, okay, so on Sunday, I actually have two things to mark on Sunday, which I feel like is weird because I feel like I never have shit to mark on Sunday, but for this week I do. So first things first, I'm the realist, got a bill due, it is just our car payment, so gotta mark that. And then the next thing is Wiggles needs her flea meds, and I have a sticker over here. And so I have this little like pug sticker here. Super cute. Wiggles is a pug in case y'all didn't know. I think this is from the shop called HT Planning. It was like a printable shop, but they are no longer a printable shop. I feel like all the amazing printable shops are just no more. And it makes me so sad. It's like, why? <laughs> why? <sighs> but it is what it is, I guess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use like the like wavy curly one, I think, over here because i haven't really used a yellow label yet so yeah i'll use yellow um i don't know whenever i have like different style labels i try to like have like even them out and balance them out on both sides if that makes sense so i don't even know if y'all care but um she will need a bath and then she will get her flea meds so i'll probably just mark flea meds because if i give her her flea meds it's a given she's gonna get um a bath that day so or who knows i might give her a bath oh no i will not give her a bath on saturday 
that's not gonna happen. I could probably do it on Friday. I don't know. I can always mark it differently if I do give her a bath before then, but I doubt I'll be more ambitious than that, so. To be determined, but that looks cute. And that is all of my plans or my pre-plans for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the deco part now, and I am gonna speed this up to save you guys some time here since I'm so picky, so I will BRB. Okay, so the deco is done and I actually did pretty good, I feel like, because I usually move it a lot more, if you guys know. Um, I just like spaced it out, so I don't know. I was proud of myself. And I did decide to use hollow because I have this like deco stickers. I feel like you can't even see them. But it's like planets and there is a little alien right there. So actually there's two, three, four. Anyways, there's aliens. So I was like, yeah, I gotta use like this to go with this kit and I'm just gonna like spread it randomly out in different areas and I think it'll be cute. So I have these um, foiled bits or basics from Sticky Sloth Designs. So they are a little bit bigger, like her little foiled bits, basics, bobs, doodads, whatever you wanna call it. But I think it works cause I don't have a ton of deco but I think I actually did pretty good with printing out the deco this week, like the sizing and the amounts of deco. So I'm excited. And yeah, I think hollow is definitely the way to go. And I originally thought that, and I feel like most people I see using this art do hollow as well. But I don't know, I saw like the silver in the bottom washi, so I was like, oh, I guess I'll do silver, but. Anyhow, I don't really know if y'all care hearing me go on about this. <laughs> so, God, I wish I would have used this in March because I have one kit that I used um, that I'm just like not a fan of. And I had the hardest time too. I think I posted so much on like my Instagram stories too. Being like, I don't know what art to use. Someone help me figure it out blah, 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 and I just couldn't decide, so I just picked one, um, and so a part of me wishes I would have realized this one, and then, like, remembered this one, and then I could have used it. I don't know why, I thought the glasses looked really weird, and now I feel like that doesn't look good. All right, let me go like this, maybe, and then I can Position the glasses like there. That works. But it's okay. So far though this year, I think I've already said this, like I've been loving my kit selection. There's just two kits that I'm just like feeling meh about. But I think it's just because I didn't know what to use those two weeks, which happens to be the last week of February and then the first week going into March. But it's all good in the head. I'm just happy I remembered to use this and I can use it. Like I have, was like able to squeeze it in. And I think it still works for June. So, okay, that is done. And then now I just have all of these little guys. I just want to add in for sure the aliens. But like, I don't know where. I almost feel like this coming out of the computer is kind of funny. And then it says, I want to believe. Oh my God. I just feel like that's just like a yes. Um, and there's like a little, oh, I can put this like in the poster. That's dope. Okay. And then I have a bunch of little planets. Probably put them at the bottom. Or, oh, she has the same planet on her shirt. Love. I wonder if I can like capture it here. Haha. 
I like engulfed it. Um, okay. This says UFO handbook. So I think I'm going to put... Or should I put this like here? I'll put this here. So like along the blue wall. So it looks like it's just standing there. That works. All right. And I'll put... I don't know. I think I'm just going to put like random stuff everywhere. I think it'll all look fine. Oh, I did not want that to land right there. Did it land there though, for real? Like for real, for real, is it stuck? And there's no going back. Dang it, how did that happen? Oh no, perfect, it came up. Oh no, it took off ink. Okay, so that's a no. Damn it. Um, these are some big ass suns. I don't know. That was weird. Instagram was calling me. It said error. Hmm. Okay. Not creeped out at all. Okay, I'm going to put the suns down here. I feel like there's a couple of times I've been able to use this deco. And I remember getting this in like a oopsie being like, when in the hell am I ever going to be able to use this deco? And I'm able to use it, which is awesome. I actually think I'm going to try to like put this and like just use it all up now. Because I honestly don't know when now I'm going to be able to use it. As I say that, watch. I'm going to have another time where I'm going to need Alien Deco, but whatevs. I wonder if I should put this, like, eh, I'll put it here. Where else? Where else? Probably do, like, two of those. Maybe one here. Oh, I haven't put one here yet. Oh, my bad. Put it like there. Sure. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm in deep thought over here. Um, little planet. A little moon. Oh, yeah, I'm using up this whole sheet. I'm excited. And then it's like, can you guys, I hope you guys have been able to see me this whole time. Um, okay, I have a moon. I think I want to put one on this one because there's like nothing over here. I think I'll put it over the, but I still want to be able to see the poster. So I'll put it like that there. So there's like one on each box. Perfect. I'm excited. Okay. And that is garbage. I forgot in my trash can underneath my desk. Okay, so perfect. That is it for this plan with me. And yeah, I probably went a little bit overboard with the stickers here, but YOLO. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And again, let me know how everything looks with the setup. I feel like the lighting right here, like on this side looks a little bit darker. So I'll try to like mess with that, but let me know if the angle and everything looks good. But all right, I am gonna go. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.